And latest on Thanjavur suicide case, a VHP leader who recorded the video of the girl has come for the NCPCR inquiry. Just to remind our viewers that NCPCR team is right now in Thanjavur uh, and they are undertaking a probe in this entire matter. In fact, uh, they are also going to visit the school in which uh, this girl, the 17-year-old girl used to study and uh, they are probing all the angles, all the claims that have been made on this particular case so far. Let me go across to Shabir who is uh, right now in Thanjavur uh, to get us more details on this. So, uh, Shabir, we are talking about a VHP leader who has appeared for a probe in front of NCPCR. Is it the same uh, person who uh, the Thanjavur police had claimed about that uh, he was pretty evasive when it comes to uh, cooperating in probe? Well, that's right. The same person, the VHP leader who recorded the video of uh, the girl uh, just before uh, she died, uh, he appeared before the NCPCR. The NCPCR had uh, 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 had conducted an inquiry since morning, uh, and they are now on their way uh, to the school where uh, the girl studied. Uh, the NCPCR officials earlier in the day had questioned uh, the superintendent of police, uh, the government doctors who treated the girl, the doctors who conducted her post-mortem, the district uh, CEO, chief education officer, and DEO, district education officer. All of them were uh, questioned uh, by the NCPCR team, and they have recorded their statements. And apart from that, uh, the NCPCR team also met uh, the former students of uh, the uh, the school. Uh, and, uh, right. they have also Shabir, uh, really sorry to interrupt you, but very important update coming in on this particular case. Big breaking news right now. Madurai bench of the Madras High Court has ordered transfer of 17-year-old Thanjavur girl death case to the CBI. So CBI is going to take over the Thanjavur murder, uh, beg your pardon, suicide case. And this uh, particular order has been given by Madurai bench of Madras High Court. This particular matter was being heard by the court uh, since many days now. And now they have ordered transfer of this entire case to the CBI. Remember, there are a lot of layers and a lot of questions regarding this particular case as to what really led to the death of a 17-year-old girl. Was it the harassment uh, she faced uh, in the hostel or was it the forced conversion bid or was there a third reason which actually led to her death? And now CBI has... Uh, is going to take over this particular case uh, after the order that has been issued by Madras High Court, uh, High Court's Madurai bench. Remember, the family of this girl too had been seeking the same thing. They wanted a CBI probe in the entire matter. Uh, till now, Thanjavur police, the Tamil Nadu police uh, was handling this case. But so far, there has been no big breakthrough and there has... And there was no concrete word as to what really uh, transpired with this girl. Let me go across to uh, Mughalan who is uh, tracking all the developments taking place in the Madras High Court. So, Mughalan, big, big update there. Uh, Madras High Court finally accepting the demand made by the family of the deceased. Definitely, yes. Now, we have seen because uh, during the last hearing, there was a lengthy argument that was put forth by the petitioner. Even the petitioner went, uh, uh, went to an extent of say, uh, saying that they have lost faith in the Tamil Nadu police. Uh, because the videos and the dying uh, statement of the 17-year-old got, got leaked uh, to the media. So the petitioner sought a CBA inquiry and after hearing a, a very uh, lengthy argument, now the Madurai bench of the Madras High Court then reserved the order. But today, the uh, Madurai bench of the Madras High Court have transferred the case to CBCID. And this being the demand of the petitioner, that is the girl's family, and even political party like BJP was demanding that there should be a CBA inquiry uh, uh, for, uh, for a transparent probe in this matter. But we have seen that was very strongly opposed by the Tamil Nadu state government. But even though uh, during the hearing, the Tamil Nadu state government said that they are uh, conducting a fair probe in this matter. Now, the mother bench of the Madras High Court have transferred the case to CBI. Right, uh, so big update there, Mughalan. Thank you so much for getting us all those details. So, Madras High Court has ordered that uh, CBI should take over the case of uh, Thanjavur suicide uh, where uh, a 17-year-old girl died of suicide and uh, there has been a big, big mystery as to what really happened with this girl. There are a lot of theories that has been doing the rounds but there has been no concrete 
word or no breakthrough so far in the case that was being handled by Thanjavur police. Uh, just to remind our viewers that an NCPCR team too has reached Thanjavur and they too are uh, talking to people, talking to uh, the school authorities, also the investigating officials to find out the truth. But for now, this is big update that we are getting in from the Madras High Court where the Madurai bench has directed CBI to take over Thanjavur case.